the gym phase that you should skip is actually the first one. What? What do I mean? I'm basically saying when a lot of us young guys, I'm talking to the high school guys in this video, even like earlier, like grade eight, um, want to start getting fit, want to start working out. We oftentimes get like shy about it, if I'm being for real. We'll do push-ups like late at night after we're supposed to go to bed, do some like bodyweight squats in our bedroom, like, and we feel like people are gonna judge us because for me, I was like some skinny little, little shit. And I felt like people were gonna make fun of me for working out when I was that age. And that delayed a lot of progress, a lot of progress. Working out at home, I'm sorry, but like that's probably why my progress was so slow. Because I worked out at home, I learned awful form. I didn't have much weights and I just wasn't a calisthenics guy. So it made things a little bit challenging. I'd go for a lot of runs instead. That's why I'm here. This was my favorite running spot by the lake. And I still like this place for walks. It's good for cardio. I usually come here after the gym because I'd rather be out in nature even though it's 10 degrees outside and it's cold and I'm in shorts, like I'm still out here like that. But working out at home really did teach me a whole lot of nothing. And obviously it did teach me a lot. But what I'm saying is compared to when I started actually going to the gym, when I started to work out with some people that knew what they were doing, like guys in the gym putting you on game. Like I started making real progress. I started realizing why I was wasting so much time in the gym. And I know a lot of people say like, you can't make any mistakes because you learn from everything. But to be honest, I didn't know anything. So how could I learn? And when I started learning, it was amazing. I was so grateful to those guys first people at my OG gym before they kicked me out for deadlifting when I got into powerlifting but there was a lot of guys that wanted to help you teach you form tell you stuff give you tips what you should take what you should do and when you're so new to the gym you're just a sponge you can absorb everything you can train seven days a week you can do all that and I love that but having yourself just stick in your room doing like some bodyweight squats super late at night because you don't want your mom to know that you're trying to get buff like that's just like I don't know why as guys we think like that it's silly because it's a super masculine thing to do to go to the gym to get in shape but for some reason a lot of us are ashamed and we think that people will actually judge us when we actually do finally start the gym and that couldn't be further from the truth like Everyone at the gym is always helpful. And if you're thinking about starting the gym, just do it, 100% do it. If you're in high school, do it. Like, I know it can seem intimidating, especially if it's like an MMA gym or a powerlifting gym, shit like that. I personally go to like a powerlifting gym and there's a decent amount of younger guys. Like there's, um a really rich private school near the gym. So we get a ton of like, um, like exchange students that are in like grade like, I would say like 10 to 11 come to the gym and their forms are awful. Um, they don't really know what they're doing, but it's calm, like it's fine. Cause we'll always help them out. Like I'll help them, no worries and everyone in that gym will help you. They want to help you, they want to see you succeed because they used to be like you. And just know, like if you're ever worried that you think you're gonna be judged, you have to realize, maybe, maybe, yeah. But nine out of 10 people won't. Nine out of 10 people are rooting for you to succeed. 
because they think to themselves, oh, if only I knew what to do when I was that age, I could have made so much more progress. That's what they're thinking. I have a friend who has a little brother and he started working out with us when we were second year uni students or first year, second year, first year, whatever. And bro was in grade eight, but we put him on game right away. We taught him form. We taught him how to lift. We gave him a proper program, a proper program. I didn't even know what a tricep was, what a push down was, stuff like that. I didn't know that, but I'm telling you, if you just learn right off the bat, you can explode. You'll be excel at the gym, great at powerlifting. If you just start early, he was putting up numbers like 275 on bench in like grade nine. Like just after a year of training, what? 275 in grade nine, that's literally insane. But when you start early, when you don't delay your progress, you can explode. Your newbie gains are crazy. There's so many studies of guys who start working out early and their gains just explode because of how much time they've trained. A lot of these guys started training when they were like 11 years old, eight years old, and now there's like superstars. And you can be like that too, but you need to start because the more you stay in your room hiding, just doing like, oh, what was it? The one punch man workout. That's what a lot of like high schoolers used to do when I was in high school. 100 sit-ups, 100, um, push-ups and 100 squats and a 10k run man or they would be watching like prisoner YouTube videos calisthenics like shout out like Austin Dunham because that's when I started like following that guy and I was like mm, 14 15 trying to look up like calisthenic stuff because I don't want anyone to know do it after school like being embarrassed of the gym is stupid just go to the gym, stop delaying. Like everyone wants you to succeed. Everyone wants to help you. It's so easy, man. Cause once you get in there, everyone's gonna wanna help you. Everyone's gonna help you so much. You're gonna be thankful for yourself because eventually all men go to the gym. If you're a man, you're going to go to the gym eventually. And the longer you wait, the more you're gonna think, man, if I only started doing this two years ago, when I first wanted to, I wonder how big I would be now. I wonder how strong I'd be now. But that's gonna happen, happened to me. And I'm learning from experience. Learn from my mistakes. Go to the gym now so you won't regret it because you will regret it if you don't go. There's no downsides and it'll only make your life so much better. If you like this video, check out some others. Check out my YouTube shorts too. <laughs> All right, peace out.